And now, your first Alert 5 weather. Check it out. It looks like Mother Nature had a snow blower on the top of Pikes Peak today. We had some strong westerly wind that did help to keep us warmer along I-25 and for the foothills today as that air down sloped off the mountains. Uh, but it has left for breezy conditions today. Now, wind has definitely been variable this evening, but still gusting at times. Right now, La Vida most recently gusted to 43, 24 in Trinidad, 21 in Westcliff. And you will notice we're going to stay fairly fairly breezy overnight, which is atypical. Usually our wind calms down in the evening once we lose our daytime heating, but that's not the case tonight. Expect to still see 20 to 30 mile per hour wind gusts, especially in the mountains and our foothills. But then as we progress throughout the day on Saturday, the wind will calm down. So let's talk about why we're still going to stay breezy overnight. I'm tracking our next storm system moving in and we'll have snow showers in the mountains during Saturday morning through midday. We really won't see a huge impact from this cold front on Saturday other than a bit of a breeze. We'll mostly feel a cool down for Sunday behind this cold front. Plus, we are going to see an increase in cloud cover on Sunday afternoon, but this is due to a totally different storm system that's approaching and I'll talk about that a little bit more as we talk about once we head into early next week, but let's talk about temperatures for tomorrow. We're going to start off very cold in the 20s for most of us. If you are going to head out to the Veterans Day Parade in Pueblo, plan on warming up into the upper 30s or low 40s by 10 a.m. for parade time, and then we'll further warm through the day up to the 50s in the plains and 40s in the mountains. Now that cold front that brings mountain snow on Saturday will move through our area and that will provide us with a little bit of a cool down for Sunday where we're in the 40s and 50s again, but just a touch cooler for many of us. Now let's talk about next week. There's gonna be two storm systems and they're completely different storms. The first one that comes in for Monday will be glancing towards the southeast of Colorado, giving the plains some rain, and it's a warm storm originating further south. The second storm originating further north pulls in some cold air to Colorado, and it does look like it will have more of a direct impact to us and gives us a chance of some snow, but it's overall gonna be a drier system. So here's a sneak preview of next week. Monday we have rain in the southeastern plains. Looks like it'll miss I-25. Then Tuesday there's that colder push of air and a chance of some snow showers that end very quickly, almost as soon as they start. So two quick moving systems next week make for some interesting weather, but the most impactful day for Colorado Springs will be Tuesday with some light snow showers during the afternoon. Well, from the morning to the afternoon. And for Pueblo, you're going to see a gradual cool down over the weekend. Another boost in temperatures Monday before that more powerful front on Tuesday. Canyon City 50s and sunshine and a breeze for the weekend. More powerful cold front arrives Tuesday. That gives us a chance of some light snow. And finally for Woodland Park, mild and breezy over the weekend. Much colder next week.